All right, guys, this is what you've been asking for. I'm finally going to give you a tour of our brand new Boondatech Roadrunner. <laughs> outside right now so I've decided to just go ahead and uh, start the tour inside hopefully the winds will die down so um, you'll be able to hear me better so um, we'll start inside and look backwards um, as you can see the uh, the entryway um, it's about 32 inches uh, wide a little narrower than the Laredo um, but that's because we opted to get a, a larger bathroom which is off to the left here um, the wet bath uh, measures 36 by 30 inches and um, is substantially larger than the um, basically the closet we had in the North Star Laredo. And the Laredo bathroom was big enough to do what you needed to do, but um, really didn't have anything else in there. So basically, what we um, what we gained with having a larger bathroom is not only do we have a um, a Tetford cassette toilet, but we also have this awesome storage cabinet here, which is what we use for a clothes hamper. And um, of course, having a larger um, um, wet bath means you'll have a, a larger area to shower. So we have this um, nice shower grate. Um, it's made of cedar. We had Rory at Boondatech build it for us. Um, basically this stays on um, until we shower and when we shower we just lift it out and um, basically it gains you an extra six inches. So inside this um, in, inside this wet bath you have the Tetford cassette toilet. Like I said you got this nice clothes hamper and above you have this um, additional storage cabinet up here, which is where we keep toiletries like um, toilet paper and um, towels and, and other items. So, um, yeah, everything that we need is right here. One of the big features I wanted to touch on real quick uh, before I go any further is the Truma Combi. Um, this is an appliance. It's cutting edge technology. It's from Germany. Um, basically, it's located right here below the wardrobe. This is what it looks like on the outside. But anyways, the Truma Combi um, it is a water heater and a furnace. It does both, and um, which means you'll save on weight and um, space, and um, you'll gain a lot of storage. Um, not only that, but it's also quieter and more efficient. And basically, um, uh, it provides numerous uh, ducts. You can have up to um, six ducts um, from the unit itself. And there, are, in our particular camper, we have three. We have um, one which is located right here, right underneath the unit. And then we have one that comes out underneath here, underneath the kitchen, and then we have the one in the cab over. So um, this thing um, is just a wonderful appliance to have, and um, one of the big reasons why we got this particular camper, or um, it's one of the features that Boondatech is now featuring in all their truck campers, and um, I think that that's a really smart thing to do. Um, because with the Truma Combi, um, you gain, like I said, a lot of space. In our North Star Laredo, we had the furnace here and then the uh, the water heater here. With just the Truma Combi over here, you gain all this space under here. So everything underneath the kitchen here, this is all storage. We've got two big drawers here. This is all storage underneath. And then you got another little um, storage locker underneath here where we keep shoes and things. But man, it's just um, one of the huge features that we get um, with this particular camper with the Roadrunner um, over the Laredo is having the Truma Combi. We love having it. All right, next I'm going to show you the uh, the kitchen. So the uh, the kitchen countertop is definitely a little bit longer than the one that we had on our Laredo. Um, I, the exact measurement is about five inches longer, which doesn't sound like a lot, but that's pretty substantial. So of course the um, the trade-off here is that our wardrobe is just a little bit smaller, a little bit narrower, but um, we like having extra countertop space. So that's a win for us as far as we're concerned. So um, as you can see on the left here, we have a, um, a Tedford um, stainless steel glass top sink. These things are really nice. They come with a, um, a little tub um, that you can use for um, uh, dishes and a cutting board um, we have the inserts down below here and um, so that thing is really nice we really like it um, it's got the little um, uh, 
thing here where you can um, put your your sponge and uh, um, other items um, rags and things like that after you do your dishes and stuff so that's pretty handy and over here we have our um, our dual um, true induction uh, cooktop on, on one side we have an induction cooker and on the other side we have a, a propane cooktop so um, um, with our uh, lithium battery setup that we have in our camper we wanted to um, have some flexibility on, um, on how we cook um, sometimes you don't want to run a fan and, um, and, and propane burners on a cold winter morning so um, the induction gives us more um, you know more uh, options on um, how we can um, cook our food and um, of course you don't need to run fans and all that kind of stuff unless you're cooking something smelly but um, anyhow we love this thing uh, it's this is a 1600 watts so you can use it when you're um, hooked up to shore power you can use it with an inverter which is um, controlled right here we have the inverter um, we have a, um, a Xantrex uh, 3000 watt inverter. I have it on right now. Um, I'm charging some um, some batteries right now, so I turned it on. But um, anyhow, this thing is really nice. We love the flexibility that it gives us. And uh, again, like I was saying, look at all this storage. Overhead storage above. And lots of storage below. It's all storage. As far as we're concerned, you can never have enough storage in a truck camper. So, for us, this is a, um, a really nice um, win as far as um, one of the features that we um, we upgraded in the uh, Boonda Tech Roadrunner. We wanted a larger um, kitchen, and we got it. So let's move on to the cab over. All right, everyone, this is the cab over. Um, much, much taller. Um, compared to the uh, Laredo that we had before. Um, of course, you're going to get a little bit more wind resistance, so there's a trade-off having a little taller cab over. Um, but for us, it's something that we really wanted. The wife, in particular, hated the um, the low cab over in the Laredo, so um, that was a compromise that we had. Um, um, I liked how aerodynamic the Laredo was, and, and uh, but she likes having the extra um, space up here for storage. And um, again, when it comes to truck campers, having extra storage is a win. So um, so on this side, um, um, the wife wanted a, um, a wardrobe on this side before we had just a, um, a little countertop here where we had the like a little TV stand and we really don't watch TV anymore. So we didn't even, we didn't even have a TV put in this unit. So, um, so yeah, um, it's just uh, we decided to, to trade that space in for more storage. So over here, we have, um, as you can see, overhead storage that goes all the way around. And um, that's really nice to have. Um, still undecided on whether I want to put a magazine rack in here um, for all my maps and stuff like that. But for the time being, I'm keeping them up here on, on my side. But um, we might put a, um, a magazine rack or something like on this side right here. We have a hat rack over here for now, but we might change that out. But as you can see, it's just really nice. Um, there's coffin lockers on both sides for um, for um, more storage. This is where we keep most of our clothes. As you can see, there is um, a hole liner on there, which is super nice to have. Um, invariably, you're going to put drinks and other things over here and in the Laredo, um, the surface. Um, uh, uh, got all marred up and um, basically rubbed off from all the things that we would put up here so um, I mean that's just uh, something that you're just invariably gonna do when you go camping so so for us this was really nice having this um this liner on here and we just um, keep things on there stored um, um, when the time is right so um, on this side we keep a little fan up here this is um, one way we keep cool in the um, in the summertime is um, We'll just open up the window and uh, put the fan directly on us. Nice for summers, um, especially hot summers when the, uh, the air is a little still. So this is the cab over, and uh, next we'll um, show you the, um, the dinette area. All right, here's the dinette. So we had a little mix-up with the, uh, the fabric in this. Um, we originally ordered something that we thought was um, going to be a little darker, actually more of a charcoal color and more of a fabric and what we got was something substantially lighter and it's more of a suede so we're not big fans of this so we've asked Boonda Tech to go ahead and uh, change it all out 
So we're waiting on new seat cushions. But in the interim, we can show you what the uh, the dinette looks like. So with the Bundatech Roadrunner, um, something that we wanted, of course, um, which I mentioned earlier, was the uh, the larger bathroom. When you have a, a bathroom that's six inches um, wider, um, that has to come from somewhere. And, um, and basically where we lost that was in the dinette. So the dinette is um, basically six inches uh, narrower. Even though we lengthened the camper an additional one inch, um, the dinette is still um, um, substantially smaller. Um, but it's not too bad, honestly. Um, for two adults, um, there's plenty of um, room for our feet, and um, we can even put the little doggy uh, bed down here um, for our little pug. Um, there's plenty of room for all that down here. But um, um, but as you can see, the uh, it, it's not a, a, a bad size dinette. It's uh, more than large enough for what we want. We got, of course, the inserts here. If we ever have the grandkids or um, a guest here, we can always put the little insert in here with the cushion. We have that at the house. Um, in this camper, um, we opted to get the lagoon again, uh, the lagoon table, which we love. Um, you can really move this thing around and um, different configurations and um, different uh, seating arrangements. And that's something that, that's really, really nice. So. Um, we uh, definitely wanted to get the Lagoon again. That's a, a, a big uh, plus as far as um, um, truck camper um, seating and all that. Um, it's made in Sweden and um, um, something that we highly recommend when you um, get your camper. Um, so this is basically the dinette, everyone. Um, it's, um, like I said, it's a little smaller, but it's um, more than large enough for what we need. All right, guys, I wanted to show you the, uh, the battery compartment in the Boonatec Roadrunner. Um, as you can see, it's indoors, it's inside, uh, which is a good thing for lithium because you don't want them to get um, cold or below 32 degrees. Um, you, do, you can damage them if you um, charge them below that. But anyways, um, I wanted to show this to you to see um, the arrangement that we have. There's actually a little boot on the outside, um, which gives you a little extra room here in the battery compartment, which is a nice little feature in the Roadrunner that you don't have in the Laredo. Um, so it's got the battery cutoff switch underneath here, which is nice. It's which makes it hidden, which is really nice. Um, it's not on the outside like in the Laredo, kind of an eyesore. But um, as you can see, there's plenty of room in here for um, two large batteries. These are Group 24s. Um, each one is 120 amp hours a piece for a total of 240 amp hours. And um, for lithium, that's really nice uh, because that gives you um, lithium gives you a 90% usable capacity. So I still got to do some bus bars. I still have some cleanup I want to do in here. Um, I got a couple bus bars I'm going to install here to clean up all the connections. Um, I only like having a few connections going to the battery. So um, that's something I'm going to do later. But in the interim, I just wanted to show you what the, um, the battery compartment looks like. It's plenty large for two Group 31s, and um, which is something that I'm planning on doing. Xbeon's going to uh, get me a nice big group th uh, 31 it's a 360 amp hour monster so this will be plenty big for that so i'm looking forward to putting that in here all right guys there she is the boondatech roadrunner dry weight about 2400 pounds uh, wet weight uh, we just took her to the scales not too long ago and she weighs about uh, 3300 pounds fully loaded that's with a full water tank full gear batteries everything solar panel solar panels on the roof um, the full load so yeah she's a little heavy um, which uh, basically means guys that you're gonna need a, a one-ton truck um, at the least to carry this uh, this camper um, even though she's narrow and um, very compact for uh, for a truck camper um, you know, you're, you're going to need something with a payload that basically you can only find with a, a, a one-ton truck. Uh, you might get lucky and find a, a three-quarter ton with a gasoline engine that can carry this thing, but it will be very tight. So I recommend a one-ton truck um, for this particular camper. Um, as you can see, she's a beauty. Um, uh, as you'll notice, the, the cab over is a little taller on this compared to the Laredo. Which means you get a little more wind resistance but it's not too bad in fact i hardly even notice it on the road um, as you can see um, uh, this particular camper has uh, fiberglass um, siding and uh, it's a light gray in color um, 
It's got the attractive black diamond plating on the bottom. Um, you'll find that basically throughout the, uh, the entire bottom of the camper. Um, can't see it because it's mounted right now, but the, the whole bottom has the black diamond plating and it's really attractive and um, helps protect the, uh, the camper um, from wear and tear and rocks and things like that. Um, the bottom or the back of the camper um, has a black door as you can see and it's got the uh, ladder that goes up on the roof um, for access to um, do maintenance up there. You see our little wee boost antenna up there for cell boosting. And, um, and this is our easy um, hitch step um, that we, um, we got to, to um, get in and out of the camper. Um, we're evaluating it right now. We'll be writing a review on it real soon. Um, so far, so good. We like it. Um, it does hurt your departure angle, though, for off-roading, so we won't use it all the time, but um, um, for standard trips, basic trips, where we weren't going to be doing any serious off-roading, we'll use that um, to get in and out of the camper. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on is the, uh, the Happy Jacks. Um, these are the new vertical mount um, Happy Jacks, which are supposed to be more reliable and uh, don't, that won't require as much maintenance. So we'll see. Um, we told Roy we'd be willing to give him a try. Um, we definitely prefer having the, um, the remote controlled um, uh, lift jacks, uh, much easier than doing them the manually. So this is uh, basically the camper on the, um, on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, uh, the driver's side. This is where you'll find most of your hatches and stuff like that. As you can see, we've got Dometic Sights windows on it, and um, you can see the, how, they, how well they work in the, uh, the summertime in reflecting heat away from the uh, inside of the camper. And um, you got all these hatches here. The propane compartment's large enough for two, but we only have one in there right now. I don't foresee us needing two. We don't do a lot of winter boondocking, but if we ever do, we can stick another one in there. Um, it's got a docking station where you can um, you can basically um, um, uh, hook up city water, and it also allows you. It's got a little switch in there to um, um, actually fill up the uh, the fresh water tank, um, which uh, for this particular camper is 35 gallons. So you can fill it from the docking station, or you can do gravity fill inside there, there um, in the propane compartment. So there's two ways to fill the fresh water tank. This is the really large um, storage. Uh, compartment here and it actually goes inside the camper that little um, uh, that one little uh, uh, cabinet door on the near the floor it actually connects with that so this thing goes in basically it's a big L shape um, huge storage compartment so we keep a lot of stuff in there like uh, our um, electric um, our plug-in uh, uh, wiring and some hoses and our, um, our our jacks and stuff like that little um, uh, blocks and things like that to level out things and this is the Truma Combi right here which I was talking about earlier you can access it um, on the outside basically gives you access to all the um, the pecs and then there's the uh, the vent for the Truma Combi but um, as you can see she's beautiful just a beautiful truck camper um, this is the Cadillac for Boond Attack and um, we are extremely happy and pleased with it but that's basically it guys um, Boondatech Roadrunner, brand new offering by, uh, by Boondatech. And um, uh, if you have any questions, um, just ask me. Um, reach me at mellowmike at truckcamperadventure.com yeah, if you have any questions. And, um, and that's basically it. Thanks, guys.